What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today I'm just gonna be talking about, I guess, my favorite announcements from the Nintendo Direct that happened yesterday, which it's been a long time since we have a Nintendo Direct. So yeah, I've just compiled a playlist of all the videos that I have, that of the trailers that I'm excited for. So yeah, we're gonna start off with this one, Star Wars hunters announcement trailer um i don't know really what to say about it it we don't really get any any context with it like you'll you're seeing the trailer right now as i'm talking obviously but like it's just like a just like a tracking shot throughout jabba's palace and star wars hunters coming 2021 that's it it's all we know about it. So, my best guess is it's kind of just like maybe a Super Smash Bros, but Star Wars? I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking it might be, but that's all I have for it. But it definitely looks cool, so I will be checking that game out. And then this next one. People prob some people probably flipped their lid when they saw this. I saw it and I was like, okay, cool. Fall Guys is coming to Switch. I mean, it's been known really that it was coming to Switch for a while. So kind of, it's just like, okay, here's the announcement. Like, hey, it's coming. Here's the release date. And that's it. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not that interested. Like I've seen gameplay and stuff. It, it looks fun and everything, but like, yeah, I'm not that interested really in it. But um, real quick, let me let this finish playing out because it comes out this summer. Yeah, so this summer, Fall Guys, go check it out, I guess. But this one really though, really piqued my interest. Of uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville, the complete collection coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, I only Plants vs. Zombies game I played is the obvious is the one on my ta on my phone or tablet, whatever. You know, just the one. Yep, yeah, yeah, March 19th, 2021. So, next month coming out. This one actually I'm interested in I, and I might pick it up. I'm interested, so I might pick this up. So, yeah. Definitely and you can play offline, so that's cool. I, I might get it, might not, I don't know. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. This next one though, got me really excited when it started because it's Legend of Zelda stuff and I'm really getting into Legend of Zelda. So yeah, we're getting an expansion pass for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I don't think it really said what all comes with it. I'm gonna take a look, sit here real quick kind of talk about the which I've I have Age of Calamity I just haven't finished it I finished the main story for it yet so that's what I'm really I really need to I need to finish that in Twilight Princess right now yeah it just says expansion pass uh purchase bonus available May 28th yada yada added costume for Link stuff yeah uh I'm definitely gonna I'll definitely be getting the expansion pass for Hyrule Warriors once it's available to be bought and also after i finish the game i'll need it well i won't need it but yeah you you know where i'm going with this kind of just like hey more stuff for the game i'll take it and then this one was was interesting when it popped up because it starts off like this in a desert it's like okay this could kind of be just about like any game who, who knows what kind of game this could be like we don't know and then we see this it's this inkling kid and it's like oh okay so Splatoon so Splatoon and I was really thinking it's like it was maybe a spin-off kind of thing it's like oh we're getting like maybe a spin-off 3d adventure here maybe but um as it went on no it's just Splatoon 3 really I mean they have a bow and arrow so new weapons is and apparently we're gonna have this little thing as a sidekick, I guess. I don't know what for, unless it's for just like the story mode, really, actually. 
who knows. But Splatoon 3 definitely looks great. I enjoy Splatoon 2. I never played, I played the first one, but that was like with a friend, so I never played online. But I've, I've played Splatoon 2, love it. I haven't really played it in a while though, so yeah. But yeah, Splatoon 3, I'm excited. Coming out, it's coming out next year in 2022. So yeah, that's really about it. Yeah, and so yeah, but now for the big, huge announcement that this is where I flipped my lid. I was, I literally saw this thing and I was like, shoot, Skyward Sword, which I haven't played, but since it's coming to Switch, I will definitely be picking this up and playing it because I'm really, I'm trying to get more into Legend of Zelda, so yeah. And so yeah, Skyward Sword HD remake, They're, they've reworked the controls to where you, if you want, you can just sit there with a the controller, or if you want, you can have two Joy-Cons and your right Joy-Con is the, the sword and left Joy-Con is the shield. Therefore, if you want kind of that classic feeling of what it was like when you played on the Wii, you can play it that way. And then, okay, when Al Numa showed up, I literally got chills. He showed up and I was like, oh shoot, Zelda content, finally. Which is like what I was like, please give me Zelda. And then here, new Joy-Con set where the right one's supposed to look like the Master Sword, left one is supposed to look like the Hyaline Shield. So yeah, I can't wait. I'll definitely be picking this up when it comes out on July 16th. It's already available for pre-order on the Nintendo eShop. So if you guys already have enough, go pick it up yourself, go pre-order it yourselves on the Nintendo eShop. I will probably save up some and if, I wonder if there's a physical version, I'll be picking up the physical version. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Those were like my big kind of exciting. Those were like my favorite moments out of the Nintendo Direct when it popped up, when we wa when I watched it yesterday. So yeah, those are my exciting moments. Ones that I'm kind of anticipating mostly. So if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more content, and you want me to give you guys more Nintendo content, subscribe and tell me what Nintendo content you'd like me to talk about and make. Goodbye.